morning guys so today i'm gonna show you how i like to work out with my loadable dumbbells we have two kinds here so the longer one and the shorter one here so this is the shorter one this is longer so i could basically load more dumbbells here and i'll show you later and the great thing about this again is that you could use it in the same place from the barbell so i'm just going to show you how i do like to go through my dumbbell workout this is an upper body workout the reason why i like using dumbbells is because yeah you work your arms unilaterally so if you're weaker on one side you'll definitely feel it right as opposed to using a barbell um, if you're weaker on one side it would just basically pull to one side right because you're just using or pulling one bar or pushing, right? So it's going to be a back and chest workout. I usually like to keep my shoulders for my arm workout. So I do a four day split. This is day one. Hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. So the cool thing about the loadable dumbbells is I can always put more weights, right? As opposed to um, hex dumbbells where it's just one steady weight. One thing I want you to focus on as well is when you're doing the bent over rows is to keep your spine almost parallel to the floor, okay? The higher you go, the easier it gets, but it's not really targeting your back. So here we go. The first exercise is just simple bent over rows. And the reason why I like to do bent over rows to start with is because you're using your lower back to prevent yourself from falling forward. So you need to um, protect that lower back but it's great because you're also working your lower back and not just your upper back so from there hinge from the hips nice and slow keeping your spine in good alignment pulling your elbows up as high as you can and back down squeezing your shoulder blades together as you pull up slightly lower down and don't just drop the weights down so pulling up and down exhale as you pull up inhale down all right so remember to keep your elbows out shoulder blades together and then lower back down okay so again pulling up squeeze your shoulder blades together slightly lowering back down and up typically i want to do 8 to 12 reps all right right after the bent over rows i like to do dips so i like to do supersets so straight into dips obviously i'm using whatever i can dropping down and up inhale down and exhale up try to shrug yourself all the way up Keep your spine straight. Don't like try to shrug out your shoulders. So make sure you're pushing all the way down, keeping everything firm. All right, I like to do four sets of that super set. Try it out. Next super set is uh, pull-ups to push-ups. So pull-ups, uh, because I don't have a pull-up bar here, they're condo, we're just improvising because we're smart like that. So you have to be creative when you work out. So this is a vertical pull. Nice and slow on your way down. Make sure you don't bang your face to the corner. Nice and controlled. That really hurts the grip, so it's more of the, the grip. And then, uh, inclined push-ups. It's inclined because your feet are inclined. Using the bars, just so that you can get lower and deeper. Pushing up, make sure your core is tight. All the way down. With your hands placed on the bar, you can actually get lower into the push-up. All right, that's it, four sets, super sets. So last exercise is just going to be a unilateral exercise. Everything earlier was bilateral, but independently working with each other. So now I'm just going to use one of the longer loadable dumbbells. Okay, so from there, way more weights than this bar here, as you can see. Last exercise of the day, so unilateral, one bar at a time, bent over rows. I just put my arm here just for a balance or support for the lower back. Just again, pulling your elbow up as high as you can, All right? Squeeze and back down. Exhale up and control it down. Do not let gravity take it down. All right, then I usually take a, about 30 seconds, five sets, 30 second breaks between each arm, right? 
because you're only working one side at a time. Okay, put a lot of weight in your front leg, back leg, keeping it stable. Left hand down to keep support your lower back because this is heavy. All right. Again, keep your elbow up as high as again, keeping it close to your torso, grazing your torso. Up. Oof. All right, that's it. So that's my upper body workout. Definitely less of the uh, vertical pull because just because you don't have a, a pull-up bar. If you have any questions, suggestions, or any other workouts or topics you'd like to discuss, let me know. It's fine. Thanks, guys.